Welcome everybody, welcome to the channel man. Y'all see what I'm working on man? I got this Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 6.4 liter Hemi in it. That's right man, it's in for overheating man. So what's going on is it had no cooling in it. And uh, as you can see, this is a brand new water pump. Now but it had a cooling leak up under the intake manifold. So uh, most certainly we had to remove the intake manifold. But what I found when I removed the intake manifold is what uh, bothering me. So you gotta take this diagnostic a step farther. And again, sometimes you don't know until you get the stuff off. You don't know how far deep you gotta go. In other words, there's a starting point. Uh, around here, we tend to use the term uh, start there because you never wanna close the door on diagnosis because you never know what more you're gonna need until you get things torn down. So in this case, like I said, we got the water pump on. Uh, the intake manifold uh, has overheating marks on it. So either the customer ran it hot, really hot, you know, and not telling us. That's the thing, man. I try to tell customers all the time, be honest with your mechanic because their diagnosis is based off what they can see only. They don't know the history of what's happened in the past, so you got to let them know. But I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about because um, this... It got pretty hot and uh, the intake manifold is melted. It's starting to melt, so I can't reuse the intake manifold. So basically I'm waiting on another part intake manifold. But yeah, man, these are pretty easy. They're not difficult at all. Um, the water pump, of course, the fan and stuff got to come off, but that's pretty easy. And the intake manifold, anybody can pop that off. But all right, like I say, I'm gonna turn the camera around, man, so y'all can see this intake manifold and the rest of this engine. All right. Okay, so here's a closer look, man. Like I say, it ain't nothing to it. Water pump, pretty straightforward. Take it off, put it on. Get a good close look at your coolant. Uh, we had coolant down here, so eventually we had to take the intake manifold off to get a closer look. Pretty much the only reason you have to um, remove a manifold. We see coolant at the bottom of it. You need to take it off so you can get a closer look look now let me go over to the intake manifold so you can see exactly what i'm talking about here's the intake manifold now underneath the manifold is a uh, what tends what's starting to bother me if you can see that y'all can see that take a close look at that how that this is plastic by the way and a uh, little heat can really do some damage to plastic so this is there's nothing smooth about this anymore all right it has been overheated that is one small detail that the customer left out when he brought the car in so we have to recommend he replaces the intake manifold and it's not it's not over after that we have to go further we have to find out uh, did it basically overheat because it was low on coolant? You know, again, the water pump was leaking. So that very well could be the case. But we don't know until we get a new intake manifold, put it on there, install it, and go from there. There you have it, folks. Uh, nothing major. Just felt like vlogging. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.